welcome to the stream. Hello everyone, so my name's Savage Wizrobe. I'm gonna be running this game and I have a commentator with me as well. Hello, my name is Bunnels, but you can call me Flynn. So this is Super Metroid Map Randomizer. The game map is completely shuffled, so it's gonna be interesting. So we'll just get right to it. I've set up all my controls and everything. Moonwalk is on. So without a doubt, let's get a little countdown going. All right, five, four, three, two, and one, go. All right, so here we go. We start at the ship as normal in Super Metroid. And you'll notice that immediately I'm going to be doing a movement called arm pumping and I'll head to the left. So this is a, a trick that uh, saves like pixels as you go forward. And we're starting off with the screw attack. It's a Great pretty screw attack. find already. Yeah. So I'll let Flynn take over here. And meanwhile, I'll go ahead and make some decisions as far as routing. So that room is normally not supposed to be there. Such as the way of map rando. Yeah. And so, so let me explain a little bit of map rando. What does it mean? Some people might be familiar with area randomizers. You know, uh, a door may lead to a different area than usual. For those who know about... Uh, Randomizers. Map randomizer takes that concept and jacks it up to 11. All rooms have been shuffled, creating a whole brand new map. So it, it one room can be like a, a water room, the other one is a heater room, and then in the other, it, it can be a boss. N nothing makes sense except for, for the transitions. It is all completely random. So if you want to be tested, do you, if you think you're good at Super Metroid, play a map randomizer. <laughs> It'll prove you very wrong. Ooh, you tank, that's pretty nice. So you may have noticed I uh, I got the screw attack, so I immediately go, went to go to an entrance in the top right of the or top left of the landing site, and that led into a suitless Meridia room. Okay, this is a Metroid room, and so I'm checking the map, and it looks like my map station is down the bottom left or bottom right. Sorry. Yes, not and, even uh, metro rooms are safe from the randomization. You never know. Yeah. You, you never know what room you're gonna find. So every single door transition is, in, in essence, in a map rando, the door transition is, is what you're checking, not necessarily the items. Because with with the way everything is set up, you just need to like find, try to find a way. And that's oh. death. <laughs> so that was oh. just the heated room right there. <laughs> Always fun encountering heater rooms without various suits. And in the map randomizer, the suits are gonna be a lot more important <laughs> because you never, again, you, you don't know what room it is up ahead. If you don't have gravity and it's a and it's a water room and you gotta tread through it, you gotta tread through it. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking right now based on what I have. So I have an energy tank and I also have a screw attack, but. You may notice I don't have a key item that's really important to Metroid games, which is Morph Ball, the ability to turn into a ball. And that's why you may notice I'm, when I'm destroying these walls here, I'm be actually being very careful because you can actually get stuck in two tile high gaps <laughs> if you don't have Morph Ball. So I'm just being very careful with that because that's basically a soft lock and a reset point. So yeah there we go i think the way to go is going to be through this heated room and getting that grapple beam so i'm just kind of like routing this on the fly and seeing how it goes and a really cool thing that that map randomizer does is that it is like it, it speeds up saving an energy uh refill station so uh it, it, it's not really it's always advised to save every single time always save and recharge yeah, that's right. Another thing to think about, too, with when you do these is, uh, also there's a strong possibility of soft locking at points, so you have to be careful because you may have to go back to a previous save. Oops. <laughs> and there's another death. And, and now you touch the spikes. <laughs> yep, that's right. Spikes hurt in this game, by the way. It's like 60 damage. And I only have a max of like 200 health, so... Significant portion of my health. So I think the next play is going to be either here. Wow, I just barely managed that heat room. And we got another heat room right, right after it. <laughs> joy. <laughs> oh, joy. 
So the fortunate thing, even though I'm dying a bit right now, it's actually kind of all right because the map randomizer has a built-in feature where it actually saves the tiles you've explored on the map. So that way you know, you know what's coming up and you don't have to retread that ground. So I think I'm just gonna grab the grapple beam and then head out of there and I'll probably head back to that suitless room I found a little earlier. So I think that's the next play, at least what the seed wants me to do. So we'll go with that. Yeah, you're pretty much at the mercy of the seed and try to figure out what it wants you to do. So like, right, right now, we got grapple beam and there's a uh, an underwater room like on the on the other side, but luckily that underwater room has gravel points. So it's basically the, it's basically the game saying, okay, you got gravel, go back now, go to that room that you found. And if you haven't found it, go find it. Okay, so I also Where do like a tricky wall jump to get up here. It's a little bit little bit tight, but I've done it enough that it's easy for me, of course. So yeah, this is a suitless Meridia room, and I, I say it's suitless Meridia, but we're actually still in Criteria right now, because, of course, the rooms can end up anywhere. <laughs> we say okay. suitless Meridia because we don't have gravity. Yeah, so gravity suit is an extremely important item to find in this. We also call it the magic stack of pancakes, because, it, hey, it looks like pancakes. Funny enough, I also had pancakes this morning, so, <laughs> you know, good way to start the day. <laughs> Your magic stack of pancakes. Magic pancakes. Yeah, another thing we have up there is we have a green door which needs super missiles for those of you who are familiar with the uh, normal Super Metroid or vanilla as we call it. For those who don't yeah. know it, we need we need super missiles to open green doors, essentially. We're basically yeah, yeah. on a scavenger hunt just to find the items, but first off, we gotta figure out our way through the map. Oh, speaking of items, there's one right here, and normal missiles. Okay, cool. Hi. <laughs> and oh, go oh, plasma beam. Let's go. <laughs> plasma. <laughs> Strongest <get> beam. <laughs> I'm so happy to find that. You, you have no idea. <laughs> I bet uh, I've had some seats where you just plasma is like way, way later, and you never find it. Oh, hey, and look at that. Those are super. Those are super missiles right there. Okay, I know where we're going next. Gonna head up to that uh, green door there, and now might not be a bad time for donations or the like. We do indeed have a couple donations. Psycho Volpez donates five dollars, saying, "Got to be honest, uh, randomizers don't appeal to me as a player, but they are interesting to watch." And you know what? It does appeal to me: charity. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> and we also have a massive two hundred and fifty dollar donation from Jackos who says, had to donate during Super Metroid, here's to hoping for a shack tool requirement. I don't know, you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Thank you so also, much. Also, um, uh, that, that donation does bring us to $889 out of the required $1250 for our bonus game of uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, which would be coming up in a couple of hours. Uh, so let's get that goal. Where's the map station? Okay. I think I'm headed toward it. I think that's good. All right, so my main goal, like in this, is I because we also met the save the animals incentive, we also have to find where the heck the animals room actually is. So that's part of getting the maps is knowing where we're going next. That's for I, sure. I saw somebody in chat say what's different between a, a super missile and a missile. Super missiles are stronger. Well, they're, they're super. They're super. <laughs> And but well, I also like to jokingly call them booper missiles because you know boop. Boop. <laughs> there are a few like items I like to call with a uh, boop names like high jump boops, speed boopster stuff. <laughs> speed booster. Is great. Oh hey, there's a there's Spazer. Well, <laughs> well I'm dead again, but it's fine. Oh, well, we don't need that. We don't need that item. That's okay. Okay, yeah, looks like I I died, so I'll have to go back and get those items. So now it's not a bad time for more donations, announcements, or commentary. Uh, we do indeed have another fifteen dollar donation from Aura Dragoness, who says, "Wait, wait, we have to keep it a nice meme number. Let's go!" And indeed, it is now eleven six ninety. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we're just gonna make our way back across here. So clearly, because that's a heated room and stuff, I'm not supposed to go there yet. <laughs> At least for the moment, not without more either more energy tanks or without the various or the various suit. It is possible to, of course, run through heated rooms without needing those things. But there's but a, it's there's really a hard. Yeah, it's hard, and there's a certain logic, which basically, for those who haven't played Randomizer before, logic basically says it's like a list of rules that's, or an algorithm that says, okay, these are where the items can be placed next, and this is what you're expected to do to reach them. So the game doesn't ex doesn't expect me to go through that room with how little health I currently have. So we're just going to re-get our plasma beam, stuff like that. And just try to retrace our steps. Yeah, more or less. Okay, so let's see where we left off here. I'm just going to check my map. So either there's wreck ships. Another fact factor that you can do in this is you can actually cycle between the maps. Something you can't do in the original game. Like this, so I'm going to check wreck ship as well. I remember those were all heated rooms, so... I probably don't want to go that way unless I have more energy tanks. Or Varia. So it's re it's really nice how the how how map rattle actually shows what kind of room it is on the map. For example, if you see the this water room, it has a little checkered pattern on the tiles. So where so where's the checkered pattern? Pattern, you have water. And if it, and if if the room is like a little lighter on the map, you you know it's a heater room. So you so it, it helps you to keep track on what rooms are what. Yeah, exactly. Like the yeah, like the dark the dark checkered rooms are like underwater rooms, and also yeah, the slightly brighter rooms are heated rooms. Another thing that the randomizer does too is there are certain doors that are considered dangerous to go through, usually because they lead to a soft lock, like blocks that crumble underneath you and reform, so you can't go back. Stuff like that. So it's it's handy because the randomizer actually spells that out for you as well. So I'm kind of at an interesting point in the seed right now because. What I'm left with now is I have several dangerous paths to choose from. Dangerous in that they could result in a soft lock. So, I do have to be a little bit careful here, that's for sure. Okay, I'll see if I can get to this uh, map station over here. I'll certainly try. Wasn't it, is... all... Wasn't it a, a two-heater room hallway? I think it was actually. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. It might be rough. So I'm purposely not going to save there because. Yeah, there's. I just want to go back to the ship with full health. The other way I can go is through Suitless Meridia, which is also dangerous in some way. Because I have oh, a chance of not getting back. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll uh, go down here and see what's over here. Yeah, there are two, there, there are two doors like down there. Yeah, easily, and there's another, another, actually another door in the in the wall too. While we're at it. Although I can't reach that door because I don't have the morph ball right now, so you know, such so say la vie. Okay, can I do anything in this room yet? I don't think I no. can. No. Yeah, this is another dead end, but now we know where Torian is. So, nice feature of this random other two is that the areas are actually, or the palettes and the music are actually themed by the areas. So, this is like a Torian palette, this like yellow, and then the music is like the four statues room. It's a kind of cool shout out to the original game, honestly. And of course, the these rooms here, this is like criteria palettes and stuff, and criteria music. It's actually the intro, isn't it? Yeah, this is yeah, this is like the intro for uh, the for Samus. The yeah, the Samus theme, basically. Okay, so now we actually found Meridia. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything in here or if I can progress. I'm just I'm not gonna save for the moment because I don't know if uh, I'm permanently stuck or not. So we'll just have to have to be careful. Sometimes this is how randos go at the start. You don't have a lot of easy access to certain places. Okay, there's this area too. Okay, 
Okay, where's my map? I think it's down... Oh yeah, it's very down low. Wow. Way down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, more suitless Meridia rooms. <laughs> I gotta say, this palette looks pretty good on Red Tower. Yeah, yeah, it does. This, it, what is it now? Teal Brinstar, Evergreen Brinstar. Okay, this is a good. This is a good room to find. This is Bubble Mountain. Plenty of doors, and there's a, yeah. and, and there's an item there. That's not a good room to find. That's known as Mickey Mouse room because there's a certain part of the room that's shaped like a Mickey Mouse head, and there's an item there too. For the record, so. Okay, just, uh, there's also an item in here, so I'll make sure I can grab that. Okay, oh, there's, there's more. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Pretty late morph ball. <laughs> so, I wonder what's, wonder what's next. Well, we'll find out. You know you're in for a good time when you find morph ball way later. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. What, is this Metroid Red or something? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Major. Yeah, so far the- yeah, so far these are, uh... So far these are- I'm not liking these rooms too much. So we'll do a bit of a trick here when you run through this door and then you can, uh, ball jump up here. I do have grapple to get across, which is kind of nice. So we'll do that. Go in here. I have a feeling this might be the this might be like the acid draining room. Which is heated and yeah, I can't do this yet anyways. So another thing to note about the map rando as well is uh, I like to when I look at the map I try and identify the room on like what its shape is on the map. Of course you can't do it with all rooms, but you can do it with many of them at least. So let's see what we got down here. We got this. Oh, you're right. That was heated. <laughs> yeah, like, there are certain rooms that have distinct shapes, and I'll be looking out for them, basically. It's also really cool with the rando is that, uh, like, for example, the room that we that we saw. Savage went in from, like, the, the bottom entrance, and then that room also has a, a top entrance. So those two are con so the doors that connected them are are always consistent. And I think that that is a really really cool touch. Right, can't go this way because I don't have power bombs. Okay, let's see what else what else there is here. Can't go that way either because that's one way gate. I could go up here. It is also one way, but. Okay. Oh, normal bombs. Okay, normal bombs. That is potentially important, so... Uh-oh, okay, well, uh -oh. lots of heated rims. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I'm not supposed to go this way yet, so... Because I'm not finding, uh... Things that allow me to escape very easily. But at least I have the knowledge of what's there now, so... I know the morph ball's there, I know the normal bombs are there. So perhaps the game wants me to go over here, and I do have to be really careful to not take damage from the Metroids. So I'm going to need that health to go through a couple heated rooms. Okay, it didn't take that much damage, so I should be okay. Fingers crossed. So we'll see what's on the other end of these heated rooms. Usually the randomizer does not push you into a softlock state right at the very start. So, that's probably not expected that I go to that direction. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, wow, I just oh. barely didn't get into the door. <laughs> okay, I'll try that again, though. That was yeah, super this... close. Yeah, really close. I'll, I will no doubt be able to get there when I try again, though, so it's fine. Perhaps I'll have more health this time, who knows? There's also a little, yeah, that was uh, some pretty cool movement through that room too. So an another cool thing about this randomizer as well is there are some quality of life changes to it. So there's, first off, there's respin, which is a godsend, honestly. <laughs> and then there's also this uh, stuff you can do called speed keep. I'll save here because I have completely full health. 
So basically, when you run, when you somersault, and then when you land, you actually keep your momentum. So it makes the movement quite a bit more interesting, honestly. So. Oh, hey, look, look at this. We don't have a heated room this time. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So that room up there, that door actually leads to a previous room, just the other side of it. That one I can go in. Oh, okay, this, okay, okay, this room, yeah, this room is, that's a soft lock, <laughs> but, however, that's known as, the, that is known as the pants room over there, because, simple enough, looks like a pair of pants, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go in there yet, because I don't have I, items I need. I didn't, right, even, I didn't even know that, it's suddenly pants room, but. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, because the Super Metroid community has games for, like, all these rooms. Yeah, like, landing site is pretty obvious, but, you know, that's, like, the pants room. Billy Mays. Yeah, Billy Mays is another one. Oh, wow, just barely made it. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Cutting it close, I'm sure. Yeah, so the thing with the pants room is I need... I, I basically need grapple to get through it. There's a way to get through it with ice beam and gravity suit as well. Let's see what's down here. Well, we got grapple. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm in oh, so wow. many heated rooms. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm with um, I'm with Chad on this one. I am especially interested in this Billy Mays room. <laughs> it, the room, the theme of the room is, but wait, there's more. <laughs> because we, you go, there's a secret room in in a game where you just find a missile, but then a block just under it is another missile. <laughs> So, so it's Billy May saying, oh wait, there's more. There's one more missile there. Oh, do we happen to have time for a uh, donation? I'd say so, you can. Heck yeah. Um, Psycho Volpez donates $2, saying, What makes a Wizrobe savage? In my experience, they're all pretty uncivil. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> okay, more dangerous rooms, yay. Okay. Awesome. It looks like the map room is just is like just past the pants room as far as I can tell. So, okay, I guess I'll go down here and see what there is because otherwise it's heated rooms everywhere. So, okay, this room actually has two item checks in it, which is very nice. So, okay, let's see what we got down here. It's a super missile and a reserve tank. Okay. Well, now I can't get out. Uh, actually, there is a way to get out of this. The high jump? It's with, it's with, it's with respin, so what we do to get out of here, with, thanks to having respin, uh -huh, is you I do see. like a... Yeah, then you basically mash <laughs> to wall jump out of here. <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> Water physics. Yeah, everyone likes water physics in Super Metroid, so <laughs> it's like moving through molasses. It's amazing. But on the topic of funny room names, I, I, I've been playing the, the Metroid Dread randomizer, and there's a room called David Chaffee Room. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I think I know what room you're talking about. However, unfortunately, we are soft locked because of this room. I can't get back up it. So, yeah, <laughs> there we have it. So let's see uh, what else. Thank you, David Jaffe. <laughs> yeah, thank you, David Jaffe. <laughs> okay, so let's see where I'm going to go next here. I guess I could go to Worst Room in the Game, which has a pretty appropriate name. It's heated, so. <laughs> That's the name of the room, is Worst Room in the Game? <laughs> yeah, it's literally called Worst Room in the Game. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Because because the room's ter the room is bad, so we we all, we all know it's <laughs> a worst the worst room in the game has to be bad. We love called... things that are titled uh titled appropriately. <laughs> Basically, yes. No, that it, if it wasn't bad, that that it, it wouldn't be the worst room. It it wouldn't be the worst room in the game, now would it? Exactly. Mm, yeah. True. True. Okay, I might not have enough health health to do this. I'll try though. Okay, did have enough health. But yeah, but if I find another another heated room, I'm gonna be in trouble, so. 
However, this this guy, this is mini trade. He dies pretty simple to that. I should also mention that while we're talking about this, the reason why this category is called any percent all bosses is because there are actually multiple different goals that you can set for the Super Metroid randomizer. So I have it set to just like the original game. You defeat all the four main bosses. So talking Kraid, Dragon, Ridley, Fantoon. And that opens the way to Mother Brain. There are, of course, other goals as well, like clear for all four pirate rooms or clear all the Metroid rooms and stuff. But yeah, this is the most uh, authentic the original, so I go with it. So we gotta find Ridley and all the other yep. bosses. That's right. That's that's kind of the key. Okay, I don't think there's really anything for me this way, so I'm actually going to reset here. There is actually a uh, question in chat that I'm pretty interested in as well. Uh, Psycho Volpez asks, uh, does the routing and item placement of the randomizer uh, take glitches into account? Uh, as in, I, I think the assumption there is, uh, are, does the randomizer, you know, say you're going to have to glitch your way into this? Uh, yes, it there are settings. To it, will depend, this... it will depend on your settings, yes. You might need... If you just want like uh like if you just like mild skills, if you just if you're just good at the game, there are settings for that. But if you if you need like if you're like oh I want glitches and stuff, you can have that setting. Yeah, exactly. So I speaking of I play on the hard difficulty of this, so it does take into account some uh, minor glitches that are used uh, fairly often when uh, when speed running Super Metroid. So stuff like glitching gates or. Uh, like more or less you might see me do a couple of those I might actually go back so that way unfortunately doesn't really have anything for me other than soft locks and death yeah. so i'm going to go back <laughs> to uh the, my other path which is going to be the suitless murder path uh we do also have a, another 50 dollar donation from tux no comment but thank you very much for your very kind donation Absolutely. Yeah, so we're just going to go back up here. So thankfully, I have, because I we explored this area a little bit before, I have the knowledge that, yeah, Morph Ball and Bombs are over here. Eventually, we will also need Power Bombs on top of that, so that's a really important item to find as well. All the items are important to find. Yeah, especially all the very, items. Especially very soon in Gravity Suit. Space, the however? Ones. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we- yeah, so I think the key is to go to Meridia now. Phaser would be nice if we didn't find Plasma already. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so we'll go back here and see if we can do anything more over here. I think based on the way the, the logic w wants me to progress, I might have to glitch a gate from the other side, so... It's looking very possible. So where was everything here again? I think okay, Morph Ball was, was down there. Yeah, yeah, Morph Ball was there. Bombs were up there. I remember that. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, even I have to open up the map sometimes. It can be a confusing layout for someone who's as used to the vanilla game map as I am. <laughs> I think everybody... I say everybody, if you wanna if you wanna test your knowledge with Super Metroid, play a map randomizer. Oh easily. Okay, that room was that. Okay. That was the acid that was the acid room. Which just that just that's just a loop back on itself kind of room. But yeah, we definitely need the morph ball. I think what the seed might want me to do is it might want, it, want me to get bombs and then go down to the lower portion of Bubble Mountain here. That is entirely possible. Sounds like a plan. Yep, sounds like a plan to me too. I'm going to save here because I think the game wants me to go along this path. It is possible to roll back saves if necessary. So I do have that option in case I need it. Another quality of life thing about the map randomizer for sure. So again, we jump through that door at the right time, and... Okay, so the bombs were up there. Unfortunately, that is through heated rooms. But I guess we'll just have to do it, so... It is really in these times that you miss very soon. Oh yeah, or just suits in general, really. 
just all of them, yeah. Actually, what I could do here... So that, that goes over to Crumble Tower. I'm just trying to think of a way to spend as little time in heated rooms as possible. So I'm going to use missiles to open that door because I'm going to want the super missiles up ahead. So what I'm going for is I'm going for an, another item check here. So I should mention on the map, so there are three different kinds of dots that appear on the map. So one is a small closed dot, which indicates a missile. One is a, an open dot, which indicates a non-unique item that's useful, such as super missiles or uh, energy and reserve tanks and stuff, power bombs. And the, the last, the final dot is a large closed dot, which indicates a major upgrade. A unique item, but usually a major important upgrade, such as, yeah, various suit or the beams and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be looking to collect those as often as I can, because that's where my progression's gonna lie. More often than not. So I saw Savage trying to hit the, the, the shutter thing from the other side. That's what we call the gate glitch, where by jumping at a specific timing, it, with, while, while aiming the diagonally, you can clip the the hitbox of your missile to hit the the activator of the shuttle on the other side. Yeah, it's a really handy glitch to do it when you when you need it for sure. So the, my main ro motivation for doing that glitch is so that I spend less time in heated rooms because I don't exactly have a lot of health nor various suit right now, which protects me from the heat. So. Your health goes down pretty fast when you're in a heated room. Let's just say that. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna give this another attempt. Pretty good on, on health at least. So, and I do want to see what that item is in the room after that, which is Crumble Tower, which is another heated room. And it's called Crumble Tower because all the platforms in there are crumble blocks. And they fall out from under your feet. So. <laughs> Come on, hit the thing. Okay, I might not- I'm not gonna make it in time, but I can see what the item is. Okay, that's an energy tank. So, I think the plan here is to get the bombs, and then basically immediately get that energy tank after that. That's probably how this is gonna play out. Probably what logic wants me to do, so... Okay, now might not be a bad time for more donations or announcements, if you like. Uh, we do not have any currently outstanding donations. However, I will remind us that we are still working on that uh, bonus game incentive for Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. Uh, that game will be coming up in a couple hours. We are currently at uh, $956 raised out of the target $1250. Uh, so we have about $300 left to go on that. Uh, additionally, Team Fastest Furs wants you to know that all revenue from Twitch subscriptions and cheered bits received during this weekend's event will support our events now and into the future, including our upcoming Fastest Furs Live at FWA 2024 event, which will be returning to Furry Weekend Atlanta next year. Please consider subscribing now to get our Fastest Furs emotes featuring the always adorable PB the Cheetah, and don't forget to check and see if you have your free Twitch Prime Gaming sub available too. I just took some major damage there, so unfortunately this is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's another death. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe those enemies there, I believe they're called, like, Garudas or something. They do, like, I think they do, like, 80 damage, something like that, so it's a lot when you only have 200 health. Yeah, so we're just gonna, we're basically gonna, gonna try it again until... Because the reason why why I'm doing it this way is because the energy tank at the end will refill my health to to full, so that's going to be really helpful. And then I can just this this path most more than likely, at least I think, is going to circle around. So, and there's no heated room there, so that's I think this is the correct play to go with. It seems like it seems like the play is just get the bombs, open a shot, or get the E tank and just bail through the bottom. Yeah, and then just get out, basically. There we go, got it. Heck yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, that took a few attempts. 
And also, just have to be careful to not get hit by these crabs, because with no suits, guess how they much damage they do. Guess in chat. Everybody in chat, guess how much damage they deal. I'll give you a hint, it's a lot. Much more than you think. I like that. It's too much. It's, it's too much, yeah, sure. The technical answer. <laughs> 120 damage. Yeah, it is 120 damage. So for those of you who got 120 damage, while well, you've just won all of the expenses paid trip to Zebus. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Good luck. Congratulations and good luck. Exactly. Okay, so now with this, so now that we have the bombs, we're gonna go back over here. Also we're gonna save after doing those for lack of a better word, shenanigans, so... <laughs> so the game also allows two roll two rollback saves if you need them, which is kind of nice. But so far this is like the only, really the only path I can go down, so... It's gonna keep an eye. So that's a power bomb door. We can't go there yet. No power bombs. At least not yet. So now we're in another area. The drain pipe, so to speak. Oh, we're just above the tube. Just above the tube. However, you can actually clip inside it if you do this. <laughs> Go into that corner and bam, you're in. Oh, However, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, you learned something new, right? So thankfully, we're actually now close to the map station here. Okay, that's a dingerous heated room. Probably don't want to go there yet if I can avoid it. The map station is just up ahead. Yeah, probably just right here, honestly. Okay, this is a fun room. And when I say fun, it can it can be a soft lock room. So we'll just be careful here. But basically, what, what I do is I do something called a gravity jump to... Okay. Mostly get across. I think I held, held A too much, but... I'm stuck. Okay. We're stuck. Yeah, so we got stuck, unfortunately. We don't have high jump to get out of the quicksand very easily, nor gravity suit, so... Quicksand is kind of a magnet for getting stuck. So... Yeah, you want to avoid going to the quicks into the quicksand if you have- if you don't have high jump. Or if you don't have gravity at all costs, so that is the result of doing that. But thankfully we can just attempt that gravity jump again, it's pretty easy. So the way that works, there are a couple ways to do it. Is, uh, so the way I'm doing it is I'm entering a room that does not have water to a room with water. And what that does is it allows me to keep my initial jump speed through the door. And that will allow me to jump a lot higher in a water-filled room. So that's basically what I'm doing there. I'll go to the, the left as well, just see what's over here. Oh no, okay, this oh, is the same problem. Yeah, <laughs> more quicksand, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that room I can't do anything with. Yeah, so a bit of a rough start to to the seed to be expected though, because it's a marathon. Bad luck happens in a marathon, always, so. <laughs> we expect it. I believe so, that if we don't find power bombs, we're kinda just Yeah, we're kinda at, Yeah, at this point we're kinda hooped if we don't find power bombs. Again, I do have the rollback save, just in case. Actually, I'm wondering if there's a... I wonder if there's a way to... Yeah, somewhere else. So we'll clip back in here. I'm basically doing this just for the map, if anything, so... Yeah, the map is nice because it, it will stay recorded even after death. Yeah, or after a reset as well. Okay, right. This is this room. I do. I want to do the gravity jump after in this room here. Okay, so the key is to not hold jump for too long. Yeah, because I held there. I held it for too long and got stuck. So yeah, there we go. It's this can be a pretty rough room to cross. But yeah, once I have the map, then I can just I can just reset and I don't have to worry about that room anymore. So kind of nice. 
Psycho Volpez actually has uh, another good question. Uh, what is the spread and completion time between an, uh, a good seed and a bad seed for you? Okay, yeah, so great question as well. So some of my faster seeds have been like one hour, 35 minutes. In fact, I recently got a sub 140 time for my previous, uh, my most recent practice seed of this before the marathon started. No, my worst one is about like a two hour, 10 minute time. So, so we got a bit of, there's a bit of leeway and I did build some time into the estimate just in case. So we'll see how this one plays out. It's probably going to get better as we go along. Here's hoping, but we'll have to see how this plays out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So, there you go. so yeah, the key is to not hold it for too long. So we'll get the map aid data and then see where we want to go after this. So it's important because it reveals a whole lot of information here. Okay, so that is the way. Looks like that's the way back up there. What do we have here? So there is an item in that sand pit there. That's uh, there's also a path down to Brinstar, but I need the power bombs for that. And uh, that room, that room you see right there with the four X's, that's Mother Brain. So that's good. We now know where Mother Brain is. We know it's Mother Brain because it is a hallway, a little, ho a straight hallway of, of just crosses. Lots of rooms are, are indicated with with the X's, as it were. So like, and you see that the, the one that's pretty long, that's just the Mother Brain hallway. Okay, is it possible for me to get... There's also that dot right there. I'm just thinking if it's possible for me to get that. I think I need power bombs to get that. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so yeah, that's that's blocked. That's one way on other sides. Unfortunately, we might have to do a rollback save here because there's not really anything I can do without power bombs from this point. So... That's unfortunate, but at least we'll get to keep them. We'll get to keep the map data from Meridia, so we will have that. So everything is uh, everything's okay for the moment. We at least know where stuff is. Okay, so we're gonna roll back, save over to here. That this should be like where the ship is. Do we okay. have time for a uh, donation and an announcement? I'd I'd say so. Yeah, yes. mainly backtracking. All right. Um, we have a $75 donation from Bursic, who says, Trans rights are human rights, let's go see that bonus game. Indeed, and speaking of that bonus game, uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is currently at $1,031 raised out of the target $1,250. Uh, additionally, once that incentive is met, we will have uh, a stretch goal for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk as well. Uh, the um, incentive of which will be revealed once it is uh, once that first goal is met. I am assured that it is very cool. <laughs> I imagine so. OK, I just got an idea, actually. The, the game might require me to do this, but I think what I have to do is I might have to do a gravity jump outside of a, what, a vertical do door to get back to the ship. So I think that is possible that the seed wants me to do that. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. It's a, I believe. another, yeah, it's another uh, plan that I'm thinking of on the fly. No pun intended because I'm a bird, right? <laughs> I'm literally winging it as we speak. Because of course this, this is all randomized. I don't know what it is in advance. So this is literally all, all done on the fly and improvised. So. That's the fun of it. Okay, so I think what I have to do is I have to basically... Yeah, so I did get that stuff. So we'll go back up here, up the elevator. And then I'm going to do a wall jump off of this vertical door here. And that will preserve... Give me some vertical speed so that I can get back up. And I think I have to grapple onto this... Gu oh yeah, there we go. Okay, good. This is gonna work out. Let's go. <laughs> and then we can grapple up here. So now we can keep the Morph Ball and Bombs. And make some more progress for the back. So that's actually really good. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <Okay. laughs> Let's go. We're in this, boys. 
boys and girls and non-binary pals as well. And don't and, every, don't and everything in between. And everything in between, exactly. Trans rights are human rights. <laughs> Say it with me, folks. <laughs> So anyways, now with the Morph Ball Bombs, what we can do is now we can actually fly through the air. So we're going to do Bomb something jumping. called... Yeah, exactly. So this is... Now we turn Super Metroid into a rhythm game. And now we just fly up here and can check out some more entrances and stuff. See where they lead. If you're having trouble, bomb jump in. Uh, hum the the lower North Fair theme on, on your head. Pretty easy. Okay. And now we have another, this room. Another <laughs> ten bit room. <laughs> yeah, this this room. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna back out of that right now. <laughs> no point going that way. That's for sure. Okay, so I'm wondering if there's something further I can do in some other rooms. So maybe in that room, I'm thinking either that room up there. It actually might lead to Gauntlet, which has a couple item checks. So we could go up there, we could go to Wreck Ship. I might go up to Gauntlet next. Yeah, because I don't want to go through that room unless I have High Jump or Gravity Suit or Speed Booster or something even. So we'll uh, see where we go from here. I'm just gonna hit a, hit a quick save. Saving is really fast in this, so pretty... Uh, very much recommended, if you can. Always save the game. Yeah, exactly. More than in your average Super Metroid run, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can make any more progress back here. Also, Suitless Meridia movement with Grapple is so nice because you can just fly through the air like this. It's great. Fly through the, the water, as it were. Yeah, or, yeah, the water. Yeah, fly through the water. You know what I mean. <laughs> In the absence of, of swimming, we can fly. Yeah, Samus can't swim, swim, but she can sure, sure fly. Oh yeah. So by the way, this is the caution tape I was mentioning. So right there, you can see there's uh, the black and white caution stripe on the door. That indicates like a potential soft lock point. But because I have grapple beam, I can get back from that. So that's kind of nice. So we're gonna go now that we have some more health, we can go through this heated room. I'm not gonna bother to pick up Spazer that we found earlier, because there's literally no point to it. It just it just wastes time, so we're here to go fast. Yeah, in Super Metro, for whatever reason, plasma and spazer don't stack. But funny enough, but it, it, it's funny. When you get plasma and you have wave, the combination of plasma and wave will have the same height as 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 spazer. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. Yeah, exactly. There have actually been some ROM hacks of Super Metroid. Ooh, is that space Ooh. jump? I see a heck yeah. Let's go. That is, that is a good one, space jump. <laughs> yeah, I guess we won't have to infinite bomb jump have anymore, so that's cool. So I wonder what that will do for us. It will probably open up something. I can imagine that. It will allow us to get back from places that were originally maybe soft locked. That's possible. I think there's also another thing I can get down here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, there's this room down here too. There is a crab, however, so I'm just going to make sure to... Someone in chat said the burp can fly. Now we can fly. Quite literally. Yeah, we can definitely start flying through the air with space jump. Okay, well, we got this room. And that's another energy tank. Heck yeah, let's go. Clutch. We, we definitely like Yeah, yeah, we definitely like those E-tanks. That's for sure. Okay, so now I'm starting to get some good uh so we'll go down here. Actually, now that I have space jump, we can now make some headway over in Torian. And no worries, I can get back because I have uh I have the means to Gravity jump, get back. Ooh, high jump, let's go. <laughs> high jump boops. <laughs> yes, high jump I, boops. I said high jump boops, not boots. <laughs> it's kind of a running gag. No pun intended. Is, is this even randomized? <laughs> is this even randomized? I don't know. <laughs> so now we have uh, wreck ship. The main shaft of wreck ship, which there's another check over here. 
Yeah, special shouts to Gamer Wolf, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so Flynn and I, we do uh, multi worlds together sometimes, so, and sometimes with him, so, you know. Anyhow, so we can now explore some areas over here. Let's see where the map is. Map is up there. Nice so sometimes, there. yeah, exactly. So I did a mock ball, which is like a trick that allows you to preserve your speed as a morph ball. Allows you to basically have running speed through like morph ball tunnels and stuff, or outrunning speed booster gates, which that is a trick that I may have to do. So we'll see. Eventually we'll find the speed booster, hopefully. Let's see what's down here. Is this who I think it is? Okay, this is Crocomire. Everyone's favorite everyone's favorite boss who did nothing wrong. He's just he's just sitting there. We'll leave him be. I don't have a lot of ammo to take him out quickly, so. Or yeah, charge. Okay. Yeah, or yeah, no charge beam either. With plasma and charge, he actually goes down really fast. So it would be nice to find our charge beam, it's though it's not required. Okay, where does this rabbit hole go? Who knows? Ooh, okay, we got, a, we got another item. It's a missile. <laughs> if, that, if that was charge beam, I was gonna scream. <laughs> I probably was gonna scream too. Okay, so let's see. I think the next room I'm gonna... Next room I really want to head to is the map room. I can check some of these rooms on the way just in case there's an item or a save room here. Oh, okay, there are a few items. <laughs> this is a good room because there's like three items in here. Oh, and we have found our power bombs. Let's go. <laughs> that's gonna, that's important. We can now open yellow doors. Yeah, that's right. And destroy power bomb blocks, destroy that glass tube in Meridia that we found. The Meridian tube. I know it can be, uh, I don't, I know it can be like randomized to different areas too. So I don't know if it's in Criteria, it would be the Criterion tube, the Norfarian tube, Brinstarian tube. I don't know what it would be in Praetorian though, but you know. It would be the Torian Tor Torinian tube? <laughs> Torinian, yes. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, another energy tank. That's good. E. <laughs> e. <laughs> e. <laughs> e. <laughs> Can we get some E's in chat? Yeah, let's get some E's in chat. Every time we find a, a an E tank, we get E's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, can it really go that way? Hmm. Let's see. I do have high jump, which is good, though I don't have spring ball, nor do I have, uh, nor do I have ice beam to freeze the fish, so I guess that will ha I'll have to leave that be for the moment. It's a shame, too, because the map room's up there. Oh, well. It's what it is, right? However... Now that we have the power bombs, we can now open this door over here. So I'm gonna lay that power bomb a little bit early so the door opens over here. There's a lot of like speed tech with opening, laying power bombs early to destroy blocks as soon as possible and stuff. And this is the room where you normally get power bombs in, in the vanilla game, so wow. Yes, speaking of power bombs, <laughs> though there are just a couple missiles in there, but that's all right. Missiles are still useful up to a point. And a reserve tank. Yeah, and a reserve tank, that's true. Reserve tanks are also also pretty good. I might be okay to take on uh, Crocomire now that I have a bit more ammo, that should be okay. Just gonna see if I can farm for a couple super missiles here. These enemies like to drop them, so. Part of this is also knowing like where you can easily find other ammo and whatnot and health and stuff, power bombs as well. That can be really important. It's thankfully not too much of an issue in this because I have I actually got the morph ball bombs pretty early on, so it was pretty nice. Nice of the seed to do that. So I think my next play will probably be Crocmire, and then what was here again? Okay, that was uh, that was a one way gate. I won't open it right now, but. It is possible to open that one from the other side, because it's the switch is on the left-hand side. If it's on the right, well, you can't really open the ones on the right, sadly, but it's okay, yeah, we make do. Yeah, 
Gate glitch only works when the, the button is facing to, to, to the left for whatever reason. I guess I guess when it, it when the button is facing to the right, the the hitbox just can't you just can't reach. This Krakemeyer, he did nothing wrong, but we're gonna shoot his top with missiles and he's gonna fall back. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be a little bit conserve like conserve my super missiles here. Oh, what was that? That's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. He did that weird animation there. Like he was gonna spit fireballs, but he just did he nothing. <laughs> and he did it again. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what is this happening right now? <laughs> okay. Well, in the way, we've not come into the acid. Oh, and we've got, we found the ice beam. May I say that's quite the cool find? So Crocmire causes a lot of lag when he has a pretty uh. A pretty sad death there. So to save pretty, time, well, uh, we'll not. Death. Yeah, pr yeah. Rated E for everyone, you guys. Rated E for eternal nightmares. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's this or the brave little toaster, but I don't. We'll see. <laughs> brave little toaster. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, I, I swear that that movie's a chill, a kids horror movie. <laughs> but you know. I've never heard of that one. I'll, I'll be real. <laughs> yeah, but I love it. It's got horror elements in it. It's great. But anyways, we can continue on here. Uh, and uh, so Ice Beam was a cool find, no pun intended. And with that, we can now uh, maybe reach a map station. That's pretty cool. Again, puns completely maybe intended. I don't know. Sometimes intended. <laughs> Completely, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <intended. laughs> Completely, maybe. Okay, so now at this point, the seat's starting to open open up quite a bit. We have a lot of a lot of the items we need to tackle those suitless murder rooms. Oh, and there's another one, the spring ball. Let's go. Always like spring. to see that. <laughs> spring ball is the best item in the game. I will yeah. fight anybody who says it, who says otherwise. I completely agree, Flynn. It, it's it's such a good item, so underrated. So with Spring Ball, that allows us to do a, another glitch that's useful for Seatless Meridian Rooms, known as the Spring Ball Jump. So it basically allows us to get an extra jump in midair, because while Space Jump, which does allow us to jump in midair, does not work underwater without Gravity Suit, so... Where does this yeah. room go? Okay, this... Okay, that just goes back. Where's the map again? Map's kind of up above me, which is kind of convenient. For the record, for those who don't who don't know what Spring Ball actually does, it just lets you jump as as the Morph Ball. Yeah, which can be really useful, especially if you don't have the normal Morph Ball bombs or you run out of power bombs, stuff like that. Which can happen in these. Thankfully not going to happen in this one. Ooh, Speed Booster. That's really good. Heck yeah. That's hype. Speed <laughs> yes. Booster hype. <laughs> Speed Booster indeed. There's also another item in here. I think it's a missile though, based on the map. That's a missile, okay. but I'll grab it. We're getting plenty of checks now. Yeah, we're starting to get quite a few checks. I just need to be careful because my power bomb count's getting a little bit low. Okay, is that a dangerous door? No, not really. I'll check down here at least a little bit. Oh, hey, looks like we found the room containing the baby, but the we won't baby. go that way. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who know Metroid Other Ram, well, it's a it's a notorious game. Samus says the baby a lot. Okay, this is quite well, a long you know, path. If you know Other M, you know Other M. Yeah. <laughs> it's it it's it's other meme, what can I say? I call it that for a reason. <laughs> it's a silly game. <laughs> Do we happen so, to have time for a donation and a uh, uh, suggestion? I would say so, yes. Heck yeah. Uh, Psycho Volpez donates $5 saying, uh, Can you say the animals in this randomizer? I think furries are legally required to do so. Actually, we are, in fact, already. <laughs> yep. We That incentive has already been met, so uh, we are indeed doing that. I'm yeah, pretty sure it's never tried to see to to require the animals to be saved. Yeah. So fun <laughs> fact: in the map render, you can set the seed to re require saving the animals to actually finish the game. Which, guess spoiler alert, I have. Okay. So this room's seeded, but there's the map up here, so that's actually really good to have. So we'll grab that. We'll also have to keep an eye out for the animals' room. 
Okay, so there's a major upgrade up there, so thankfully I can get up there now that I have the ice beam and the spring wall. Looks like down there as well, there's a... What's that? There's a major... Uh, there's a pretty important item there. Could be an energy tank, which I would like to have, ideally. There is a missile in this next... in this room here, too, at the bottom. This is normally the room where you find the screw attack. Of course, it's heated. But it's not a worry, I have quite a bit of health now, thankfully. So thanks to Spring Ball, I was able to find the map. Hey, look at that. Spring Ball is really useful. So you got to see a Spring Ball jump there. We stand a Spring Ball. Yeah, so how that trick works is you 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 basically uh, mor mid or morph, jump in mid or morph, and then after that you, uh, with Spring Ball unequipped, and then you equip Spring Ball in mid air while you're still rising, and then you can get a second jump off. Also a save here. I'm gonna hit that. Soon. I would recommend this. I would recommend the, the saving for the safety. Yeah, just yeah, just to be safe. I've had a few soft locks in this so far, so you know. <laughs> Definitely don't underestimate the power of the save in Map Rando. Our chances of soft locking uh, have diminished a bit, I say, but uh, they're still possible. Namely yeah, still, it's still possible. Room. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah, quicksand rooms. It's still it's still possible, not super likely anymore, thankfully. So I'm going to go this way because there's this uh, item over here. Could be an energy tank, so I'll take it. Could also be a power bomb, which I'll take that too. Speaking of power bombs, these crabs, they like to drop power bombs a lot, so... Let's see if I can take that one out there. Of course, of course it didn't drop a power bomb and dropped uh, energy instead, so... And of course, the grapple beam is a uh, insta kill on these things too, which is very nice. For some reason. Yeah, for some reason, a lot of e enemies that appear in Meridia, for some reason, are very easily killed by grapple beam. And hey, look at that! It's Another an e tank. E -tank. And but wait, that, that's that Billy Maze room. That was Billy Maze room right there. Yeah. The room's like, but wait, there's more. Okay, good. I'm filled up on power bombs now. Still have only five, but. I have morph ball bombs, so it's not too sketchy, at least. We can get by. Yeah, we can get by, get by without them. In fact, it is actually quite useful to have morph ball bombs for the map randomizer because at the very end of the game, Mother Brain takes away all of our power bombs, and very fast. So there are some rooms that you would want to have morph ball bombs for. Otherwise, you'll have to farm for power bombs during the escape. So it is nice that we found the morph ball bombs. Okay, so I think, let's see where I have to go next. Okay, I have to go back that way. Okay, so probably over here. Should be good. I think this was the room that had the gate over here as well. Curiously, I'm not finding that many super missiles yet either, so... Which is interesting. You know how these randos can go. Yeah, that's right. They, they can starve you for, for your for ammo. Yeah, exactly. I think I think one year for fastest Spurs, I ran a, a Super Metroid race, I think with uh, Richie, Richie yeah. Kupo, I believe. And uh, yeah, in that seed, we didn't find power bombs for like a very long time. <laughs> it was kind. It was <laughs> kind of notorious. So it was a. Was it? It was a fun suit, wasn't it? The fun suit. Yeah. The fun setting. Yeah. 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 It was fun suit. So like, it re completely removed gravity suit from the game. So you know, <laughs> thankfully we're not doing that here. The map oh, rando is a is a fun challenge enough, I'm sure. <laughs> we just got X-ray scope. Just allows yeah. us to scan to reveal what blocks are. Yeah, you don't need to like bomb them. That's at least the that's at least the casual use of it. In a speed run, it's not too useful unless you find find both plasma, which we already have, that's good, and charge beam, because once you have those, you can get some quick boss kills if you do a trick called microwaving. Which if we see that, we'll we'll explain that. But if we Get don't back. see that, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Basically, what it is is like it's it's kind of like you because plasma gives enemies iframes when it passes through them, so it doesn't hit them multiple times. So, however, well, with the uh, but if you however, use X-ray when the beam is still like, on the enemy, the beam will 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 freeze in place, but the enemy's iframes will not stop. So if you keep just mashing the 
the button to activate the X-ray scope, the beam will stay on and they will take massive damage, killing them like in like just a few seconds. Yeah, pretty. it's pretty great, honestly. Okay, let's see where the next uh, places to go might be. I might want to head for the Criteria map, possibly. Because now I have High Jump and all the Suitless Meridia items. So I think we're headed to the east of the ship now, so... We've done, like, pretty much all we can on the west side. Also, a fun little trick you can do called a grapple jump. Here, I'll try and go for it. Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> I have a spring ball. It's uh, quite a bit harder to do with the with spring ball on. Usually, I have spring ball off to do it. That must walk on the... Yep. On, on free water. <laughs> yep, yep. That's basically how the grapple jump kind of works. So it, it tricks it tricks the game when you when you grapple and then uh, morph and unmorph. It tricks the game into thinking Samus is standing on solid ground again. So you can actually jump out of that and you can uh, like chain them together. It's it's really cool. Looks pretty funny as well, but it's cool. That's a poor that that's a it's like a poor man's space jump for underwater when you don't have gravity. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Okay, so here I'm actually going to build up a... Because I know what the next room is. It's one of those Maria Sandpit rooms. I don't like these rooms very much, so I'm just going to shine spark right over it. Like that. Effective. Yeah, fastest way to deal with it. Okay, now we have... Uh, okay, this is an interesting room. This is the Lower Norfair Fire Flea Room. That's what it's called. There's an item down at the bottom that I can grab. And we'll do a bit of a damage boost here. And we got another power bomb, which is nice. definitely useful. And, and, and I feel obligated to, to explain for those who don't know who don't know Metroid, what is a shine spark? With this, when you activate the speed booster and you're just zooming around, you can press down to store the energy of the speed boost of that speed boost, and then when you jump, you can press a direction to zoom in in a direction you want. So you saw Savage just like fly through the room. That was. That was just a horizontal shine spark, is what the, the technique is called. Okay, so we, good news is we got to the map room, so that's good. Now we can reveal everything else over here. So let's see what we got over in, up in this part of Criteria. So it looks like we have, okay, a couple pretty decent items not too far around, so... We've got, I'm sure we'll go ahead and grab those. So we've got that stuff. I think I'm going to head to the right first, because there's a pretty decent supply of items over there. Of course, a short heated room later. With great power bombs come with great explosivity. <laughs> Chat is just amazing. Oh yeah, that's right. Speaking of power bombs, there's some more. <laughs> so now that we have 15 power bombs, we actually unlocked a technique that we can perform, and now 10 super missiles. Yeah, now we unlock oh. the, the, the technique called the Crystal Flash. Yeah, Wait, it's actually... It's a hit. Go ahead. It, it is a, a, a hidden thing in the game that you wouldn't normally, you just wouldn't find out by just playing the game. Maybe it was in the manual, I want to say? I don't know about that. Where you essentially, by, by you, a crystal flash is when you have a uh, power bar, you're going to essentially use your ammo to convert it into energy. But it only works when, when you had uh, uh, 50 or less energy, your, your reserve tanks are, are, are empty. Then what you do is you lay a power bomb. You hold. You do a combination of L, R, and hold down. You hold down those buttons and the fire button as well, and the game will take ten missiles, ten super missiles, and the, and other ten power bombs to fully to, to completely refill your your energy and reserve tanks. Pretty useful when you are going for the for them hit a room runs. Yeah, absolutely. So Crystal Flash is extremely, extremely good technique that you probably see me pull off, depending on when we find the very suit. So we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Oh okay, yeah. Also, I am kind of stuck, stuck-ish here because I don't have the weight beam, but I have a means of hacking a gate, so I will definitely try and do that. There we go. <laughs> Took a few tries. So Third tries. Third tries to charm. Yeah, that's what they tell me. <laughs> Yeah, so with those, it's actually, uh, you you do have the option of using uh, normal missiles on the gate, but it is a little bit harder to do. You can use super missiles, but 
between the two of them, super missiles are a little bit easier, but they have, like, of course, more restrictive ammo. Missiles are, of course, easier to replenish, but it's harder to do the trick. So between the two of them, I opted to use missiles there just because they're plentiful. And hey, no need to use super missiles if I don't have to, right? Another power bomb. So here, this is actually one of the Torian escape rooms. Of course, there's a little speed booster shortcut that I will gladly use. Speed boosting is so fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, I could potentially softlock in the room below me, so... I did save at the ship, so it should be alright. Okay, so for this particular room, so what you do to go fast is you actually can morph in midair like that. Okay, I might want to refill my reserve energy here, because these guys do quite a bit of damage. And the biggest irony about these quicksand rooms, if you stand in the sand falls, then it's, it's actually easier to get out of the quicksand. Kind of ironic, but, you know, we take it. I'm just gonna have a quick refill at the ship here. While we're at it. Cool, now let's... Uh, do we have a time for a couple donations? Yeah, for sure, I'm just seeing what's next here. Alright. We have a $10 donation from Zello saying, Obligatory Why Can't Metroid Crawl comment. Thanks to Fastest Furs for a wonderful weekend and for raising money for such a great cause. Oh, and we... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no worries, you're good. Continue. No. Uh, and then we also have a $5 donation from Rubicante saying, I don't know why Aura is complaining about my puns. By the way, did you hear about the time a food server encountered a performance-enhancing drug? Yeah, it was a super metroid. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't quite get it, but it, but it hurts. It was when a super... So this is so somebody is serving soup super... And they uh, met steroids, so super met roid. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's so bad, but so good. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't get it at first, but it still hurt a bit. I was like, dude, I don't get it, but like, it's bad. That's bad. See, the, the sign of a good pun is if it hurts you physically. <laughs> that's uh, what you want yeah. in a pun. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We're back to the room known as the Pants Room. So we're going to do a trick called a... I believe it's called a Flatly Jump to get up here into this uh, grapple block that I've destroyed. It's kind of precise. There's a bit of a, a bit of a setup to it. I'm basically looking for about there. One tile gaps in this game are like the bane of your existence, I swear. <laughs> no matter what. But I'm sure you can vouch for me on that one. We love pixel perfect jumps. There we go, got it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got it and then I uh, insta morphed. You got it, but then you didn't have it anymore. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, can I get out of this quicksand? Yes, I can. Good. I was scared for a second. Quicksand is always scary in this game. Oh, absolutely. You know it. Oh, I know. Actually, um, so... I played a few map <laughs> browsers myself, like, so I could, like, know what to say. <laughs> Things tough. Quicksand is not cool. Yeah, I think that I yeah, I think I got stuck on that second one, so it's okay because I saved. Again, there is still soft lock potential because we don't have one key thing that we're missing, which is gravity suit. So if I had a gravity suit, that wouldn't be a concern, but yeah. Not there yet, so still a ways still to find that, but that's okay. Still no varia as well. Those are kind of the main items that I'm still looking for. For what they call the fabled go mode. You'd like to explain what go mode is, Flynn? <laughs> go mode, where you essentially just get all the things that you need to just go to the end of the game. Where 
when you say you're in go mode, you're going to beat the game, essentially. But, Otter, you were gonna say? Yes. Um, we are at $1,051 raised out of the $1,250 required for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. I do have a suggestion for getting us the rest of the way there. Can we get a $5 donation train going? Uh, saying what BRC could mean to you, because Bomb Rush Cyberfunk uh, abbreviates as BRC, but that could mean just about anything. <laughs> yeah, got stuck again. I almost had it there, but for some reason Samus didn't want to wall jump, but yeah, we'll, t <laughs> we'll try it again. Getting this map is huge, so. Samus, I think you can soft reset by L up, LR up, up select? Oh yeah, something like that, yeah. I keep forgetting about that function actually, but that is that is a function that is a thing, so yeah, LR yeah, LR start select or something is is how you do it. <laughs> Believe so. Okay. Back we do here. Actually, I think you can just grab on a block, you know? I'm I'm trying to. <laughs> Okay, we'll do, we'll do that soft reset function right there. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bit faster. Again, soft locks do happen, and they can happen at the worst of times. And again, this is why we save. This is why you must save the game. Everybody, go save exactly. your game now. Whatever you're doing, go save your game. Okay, let's see here. Just get this set up here. Oh. Okay, there we go. We got it. That's, there we go. That's, that's part of it. And then, uh, now the, now the second part of this is uh, where we need to rely on space jump, and now we can get out of here, like that. Easy, And man. there we go. Yeah, <laughs> pretty easy to do. So we'll now uh, grab the map station here. So speaking of other map stations, there's one particular map station we're looking for, and that's the broken map station. That will lead us to wherever Cantoon is. I think so far down here, it's just mainly, uh, it's mainly like, Minorish items, so Let's have a quick check for the animals room while well, I'm here. No, it doesn't appear to be in here. Oh well, that's oh, well. fine. Yeah, <laughs> on to other things, I guess, right? So we'll go to some of the next areas, which is probably going to be Torian, because uh, back then that's where, or rather Meridia, because that's where we were blocked by power bombs earlier, so thankfully we have them now, and quite a lot of them. I saw somebody in chat ask if we could do, what was it, the ice clip on the next room? Ice clip uh, is when you get, you, you freeze an enemy in a specific spot, and then you can use that enemy that throws an enemy to clip through, through the platform above, but we do to do that, we will be going to we will be needing to go up the place from that side, which we can't do right now because we don't have gravity. Or maybe we we could have because because of the high jump. Crack on that uh savage. Can we do ice clip? Ice ice clip? Uh, oh, there. Oh yeah, for for like the pants room, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, there is a way to do it if you have if you have gravity. I know that I know that for sure. I'm not sure about like without gravity. I feel like it's possible, but I for, I forget I forget exactly. But yeah, it is certainly possible if you have gravity suit. Okay, so where's Meridia again? Right, it's over there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, basically through what we call like the gaunt like gaunt normal gauntlet entrance here. The top left door. Just gonna keep an eye out for that. Just gonna check these areas to see if we have the animals room anywhere.
Doesn't look like it in Meridia. Doesn't look like it in Torian, so we haven't found it yet. It might be a Norfair then. Yeah, it could be a Norfair, could be a Brinstar even. So, only time will tell. We'll have to check, right? <laughs> so the animal's room, of course, was sent to a random spot. So we'll, we'll find that eventually to save them, right at the very end. Or maybe we'll stumble across it, who knows. That's the beauty of Rando. So where was again? Down the tube. Oh yeah, down the tube into Brinstar. Gotcha, all right. And I have power bombs, we can break the tube. Yeah, that's right. Still do, still do the clip for swag. Yeah, of course I'll do the clip, clip for swag. <laughs> for those who missed it earlier. Why not, right? <laughs> so that unlocks a faster path down through here as well. Down the drain pipe? we <laughs> The other tube in the game. Wee. Yeah, so you can clip into to this tube if you go right there, but we'll break. We have to break it because we gotta go down below. That's where our next area is, Brinstar. This is not where I remember Brinstar being in the vanilla game. <laughs> Let's uh, first oh, off check out where our map is. It's all way up to the right. We got. We get into Brinstar in a Brinstar room with the great music. Is this even randomized? Yeah, is this even randoed? <laughs> okay, so I'll first see if there are any any items in here that are important, so such as like... Yeah, there's like three item checks in this room alone, so we'll definitely grab those. Before I do too much of anything else, really. But aside from that, I do want to head to where the, the map room is, so the key is to go right. I'll grab this one as well. Nice reserve tank. Would be useful. Okay. I think I should go through the bottom right door here over here. That might be the fastest. So another thing I do when I play these is I also basically have to figure out or estimate what the map is going to look like when it's completed. So I'm guessing this is going to lead to where I think it is. So this is a potentially dangerous way to go, though I did save recently, so we're okay. And there's more, more than likely a way back, so we should be alright. And also items. A power bomb. Yep, and a missile. So we can just simply screw attack up here. This does not appear to be the broken map station. The broken map station is going to be is going to have another room on the on the right side of it that contains Fantoon. So, okay. So speaking of, looks like we, okay. We have Craid right there, which says that room with the four axes there on the map. We have some other useful items to be found here in Brinstar. Some major ones too, geez. Okay, I see a couple of those uh, large large dots. So the path to is on the west side. Okay, we've got two major items here. Yeah, certainly I see a couple. Could be our suits. Yeah, could be suits. What are we missing anyways? Yeah, could be beams. Suits or beams, it ha pretty much has to be at this point. It, it's either suits or beams. Yes, it's beams. Suits or beans, yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, where is the... Do I see it anywhere? I don't see the map room. Or the... Not the map room, the animal's room, so... I don't think it's in here. I'll have to check the map of Norfair for the animals as well, but... We'll get there when we get there, I'm sure. You have time for a quick reminder? I'd say so, yeah. Go right ahead. All right. Um, as a quick reminder, we are uh, at one thousand and fifty-one dollars raised out of the target twelve fifty for Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. 
uh, we need to hit that $1,250 raised in order to unlock uh, that game, which will be starting uh, in an hour and some change. Uh, additionally, once that donation goal is met, there will be a stretch goal for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, uh, which we will see as soon as that happens. Right, so another thing that I wanted to mention as well, if you see those uh, plus signs on the map, usually that indicates a recharge, like a health, a health or ammo recharge specifically. So there's one actually up there. Though it's, you don't know which kind of recharge it's going to be until you actually enter the room. So I just wanted to make note of that. And another thing I should mention about this too is, uh, normally in the vanilla game there, there are uh, missile stations in the game that you can find that refill miss missiles. However, in the randomizer here, they've been modified, so now they refill all ammo instead of just missiles. Yeah, we'll see what major item we have over here. Hopefully, it's, ooh, there we go. <laughs> that's our, that's our, ooh, oh, wow. <laughs> Two for one, let's go. <laughs> let's get it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Microwavy is it? Loaded. <laughs> that's a loaded room. Yeah, now we can microwave bosses. Heck yeah, guys. Now water is no longer an issue. Yeah, exactly. We got our magic stack of pancakes. And now we can traverse water, and it's going to be no problem whatsoever. At this point, we're basically just looking for various suit. I'm going to hit this uh, health recharge here. It's kind of nice that I found a gravity suit just now. Or what I assume is a health recharge. It could be a... Uh... Could be just ammo. Could be ammo. But it's likely going to be a health recharge. There are more health recharges in the game than ammo stations. Okay, perfect. I'll gladly take that. <laughs> Heck yeah. So now we can start making a real dent in some of the bosses, so especially Kraid and Dragon and Fantoon, once we find them all. Of course, we're still, again, we're still looking for Varus Suit. That's pretty much the last item I need to reach my go mode here. But aside from that, we're now looking pretty good. So I think the next, our next place to go is check out that, I think there was another major item. Somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, right up there. So I have to go up and then up and then left. I do have to hack a waveform gate, but that should be fine. We essentially just need barriers so that Ridley is no longer, is, is like, not too much of a of an issue yeah alternatively the, like his arena is is a heater room so yeah protection from that is, is very much appreciated yeah there was another uh, gate clip right there and aside aside from that it is technically possible to finish the game if you have a uh, very oh nice wave beam now we're now we got a max bolt powered up beam that's pretty cool i like it it's nice and, uh, yeah, and then we also yeah. have Kraid over here, so I can't believe this is our first boss we're fighting now, so <laughs> it's been been a, been a while. Oh, so... yeah, now we're 27 minutes, and finally we get to fight the boss. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so here I'm going to go for a quick kill on this boss, so he pops out of the ground, and you can fire off quickly four super missiles into his mouth. If you do it at the right time, he dies instantly and doesn't doesn't stand up. I'll go for it. Uh, I was a little bit early there, but it, there's a certain frame where he uh, where he uh, his mouth just stays open and you can just continue firing the missiles off. But a single uh, single charge shot will finish him off after that. Yeah, so Kraid's, Kraid's not hard at all, honestly. So, okay, so let's see, where are we going next? Okay, I see Gold Torizo's room over there. Probably don't want to go there. <laughs> okay, let's see. I suppose now we head to North Fair on the... Yeah, we gotta west. head... Yeah, we gotta head to North Fair on the west side. So, that's the next place to go. There's probably gonna be more bosses over there. And likely are very soon by process of elimination. Yeah, by process of elimination, exactly. There's definitely that going on. 
So now the... So speaking of process of elimination, we found where a spacer was. I just chose not to pick it up because it's not useful in this, unfortunately, because I already found plasma. And spacer and plasma don't stack, and spacer just... worse in general, <laughs> for the most part. So now, now the last major upgrade that remains is Varia Suit, so... Basically, now I have now we just have to find that. Okay, I see how I can get to it. I can return to the big pink room again. Should be okay. Right down here. Now's not a bad time to for a donation or two, by the way, if you have him. Alright. Uh, we have a $2 donation from Psycho Volpez. Uh, no comment, but thank you very much for your very kind donation. Additionally, uh, we are thrilled to partner with Timberwolf Trading to bring our Fall Fest 2023 marathon shirts to you. Use the command exclamation point merch in chat to browse our new Fall Fest 2023 designs from Rotom, Flux, Autumn Wyvern, and Blue. $5 from each shirt purchase will be donated to Trans Lifeline. They'll only be available until the end of the event, so don't miss out on your chance to pick up one today. You can also check out the entire Timberwolf Trading store online at TimberwolfTrading.ca, where you can order your own custom stickers, shirts, laser engravings, and more from this furry-owned business. Okay, so now we're officially in Norfair, and I checked my map, and the map room is way off to the left, so we're going to head over in that general direction. And based on what I said a little bit earlier about where Fantoon has to be, by process of elimination, this has to be the broken map station, which means Fantoon and the broken map station are connected to the same room. So once we find the broken map station, we find one of our bosses. And then once we get the map station, we find the rest of them. That's the idea anyways. So we'll just head over in that general direction. This song is how it is is how I feel today. <laughs> oh yeah, right, because it sure is hot in Brazil, right? It is really hot. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, we'll go continue on this direction here. Oh hey, well, we found the outside of wreck ship. <laughs> and actually the map station appears to be like right up above me there, so. Pretty nice. Let's just see how we get there. I'm sure there's a way to do it. We'll just Most find certainly. out as we go. Okay, this room's a dead end, unfortunately. So I'll just uh, turn back. There's an invisible platform along there, by the way, in that room. You can see it with x-ray. But yeah, I don't... Invisible yeah, bridge, but... because... Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay, how am I gonna get up there? Let's see. I, I know there's an item in this room. I can grab it real quick. Might as well, just in case it's various suit. No, wow! Which it is! Which it is! I was like, yeah, just in case it's various suit. Wow. Now we are, we're, we're officially in go mode, everybody. Yeah, let's let's go. Hype. Hype in the chat. I can't believe I called that literally like a couple seconds before I got there. What the heck? <laughs> Am I psychic love it or when something? It calls... Don't you love it when it just calls the correct item? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Okay, so we're in go mode now, which is awesome. However, we don't know where our bosses are, and we don't know where the animals room is. So odds are, they're probably going to be all in Norfair at this point. It's at least how this has been going, the seed, anyways. So we'll we'll see where they are. So I'm just gonna make my way over to the map room there. So this room is dangerous if you don't have gravity suit, as evidenced by that caution stripe right there, as you see on that door. If you fall down in that room, well, good luck getting back up. If you don't have the necessary items. Okay, let's see if it's down here. So speaking of the animals, we're going to see one of them down here, and it's the burb. Say hello to the Decora. Hi, Decora. <laughs> right there. Oh, uh, hey, wait a second. This is a Shock Tools room, I think. 
You know what? <laughs> here we are. So fun fact, uh, you, you'd think you would need Shack Tool to destroy these blocks here, but in reality, any enemy will do. These blocks just break when any enemy touches them. Not necessarily Shack Tool. It's a lot faster in reverse. <laughs> so it's really nice. There you go. That's another thing I did not know about. So there you go. That's the that's the broken map station. So that means that Fantoon has to be off. Fantoon has to be off of uh, that room, right there. And furthermore, he has to be in a in a door that goes to the right, because Fantoon Fantoon is has a door on the left side. So that leads to, again to process of elimination. He has to be in one specific room. And also, we can also uh, microwave him, which is very cool. You'll see that eventually, I'm sure. Okay, I think here I want to go down. Fan to that right. Like fan troll. Yeah, fan to fan troll or RN ghost is sometimes what I call him. Because he has some RNG to him as well. Sometimes he gives you a fast cycle. Sometimes he gives you a slow cycle or a medium cycle as well. Okay, that is not Fantoon, so there's only one more door left that faces to the right here, and it's down right over here. Just beside the broken map room? Yeah, literally just beside the broken map room, though I can't actually directly access it. <laughs> well, what do you know? Yeah, so here we are, and now because we've collected plasma beam, charge, and x-ray, well, we can do the microwave kill on Fantoon. Which is very, very fast. I love it. It's great. And very, very cathartic. Yes. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Fantoon is like a... Is a rather nasty boss in vanilla Met Super Metroid speedrunning. Known for killing many runs. So we'll get our uh, x-ray equipped here and then... Whoops. Okay, I go on off screen. <laughs> okay, okay, that worked. <laughs> Just before he disappeared. Heck yeah. <laughs> now that's a stylish uh, Phantom kill, if I, ever, if I ever see one. Hey, swag points? Yeah, I like those swag points. Mega Man boss strategy? Essentially. Yeah, basically Yellow Devil... Yellow Devil boss strategy type thing. That's what microwaving is. And now with that, the map room is now powered on and, and fixed, so we can now grab that and reveal the rest of the map of Norfair, and maybe the animals room while we're at it. So this is going to just be a bit of backtracking here, so another uh, donation or announcement is okay here. We have a $10 donation from Roshan Dragonest, who says, Hi, Flynn. Hello, Roshan. Additionally, we are at uh, 1,063 out of the 1,250 needed for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. We are not that far off. There's less than $200 left. If we get a uh, if we get a dono train going, we can meet that meet that with plenty of time to spare. Um, and again, thank you uh, everyone in chat for joining us here at Fastest Furs, and I hope that you're having a great time. No, I sure am. Hope you all are as well. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh map here Look for that elusive uh, animals room okay i think i see the animals room so way at the top there my map's kind of centered on it it's below the north air text that's the animals room right there and i can tell it is because it's a one tile room it's got a gray door on the left hand side and a single item check in it so that's good we now know where that is we also found Dragon and Ridley. Let's go. Okay, so Dragon and Ridley are both there, a bit down and to my right. So I'll go ahead and uh, take, take him out. Them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you if you microwave Dragon, you get micro shrimp, and if you if you grapple beam, you get fried shrimp. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the well, the name we we call it. My, Fried shrimp is with grapple and microwaved is with the x-ray kill. 
Another thing that I didn't, I forgot to mention, those snails that I kicked around like a soccer ball just a second ago, uh, that's not the right sound effect for them. So yeah, the map Brando has, a, has like weird oddities with like uh, sound and stuff sometimes, because the sound that the creatures make is tied to whatever music is playing. Same thing with like when you break the glass tube in Meridia and stuff. So just a, a neat thing to note. Funny oddities of the game. Exactly. So now head over here to where towards where our bosses are. And they should die fairly quickly. I have a pretty powered up beam. Like <laughs> the charge beam of this does like 900 damage, so that's more than super missiles can do. So that should be all right. I think we'll, I think we're pretty good for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think so. And now we're gonna go bowling. So now is a good, perfect time for a donation or announcement if you have one. Uh, no immediate uh, immediate announcements. Uh, however, we uh, let's see. Fast first, Fall Fest 2023 is once again proud to partner with Walking Dog Records as we raise money for Trans Lifeline, in addition to their top notch lineup of original lo fi, chill hop, and future based tracks. Walking Dog recently released two different video game themed lo fi albums, which we are featuring during our intermission breaks this weekend. A donation to Trans Lifeline of at least $10 will enter you to, end, uh, to win one of 10 copies of the full Walking Dog music collection, now totaling over 400 songs through the camp. Their music is also 100% DMCA free for use in your own streams. To learn more, check them out at ffm.bio slash walking dog. Okay, so now we're in Ridley, by the way. So he takes uh, 20, 20 shots to defeat. He has a total of 1,800 health. I'm also trying to manipulate him right now so that he turns around, but he's not cooperating too much. Because <laughs> there's a certain safe spot you can stand where he won't even hit you at all. Ridley, li Ridley likes to troll. Much like a lot of the bosses. Ridley, what are you doing? <laughs> he's giving me the weird. Yeah, he's, he's giving me. Tell you. <laughs> yeah, he's giving me the weirdest patterns right now. But he's dead. <laughs> so he just grabs us and then he explodes when he takes enough damage. The equivalent of 20, 20 charge shots with the best beam that I have, which is right here. Okay, now let's see where Dragon is. Dragon is down there. Okay, got it. So we'll just continue continue along the path here through some other rooms. It's kind of neat too in Map Rando because you tend to see rooms that you don't see in like other spe other speedruns of the game, or just don't see too much like casually as well. So it's kind of nice to nice to see these rooms, have them get some love, right? Okay, so now we're back over here. That's a little bit of a trick right there. It's known as Alcatraz. Alcatraz escape. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty well-known trick in the speedrunning community for this game. Okay, so this is like a beeline to Dragon right through this. It's right a speed through this door. It's a, it's a speed boost hall. Or a speed boots hall, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab the missile, why not? It's right there. So yeah, now we get to, you remember that, how we uh, destroyed Fantoon earlier? Well, we'll get to do the same thing to this boss. Hope you're hyped, because <laughs> it's gonna go by fast. We sure love the microwave shrimp. That's right, so, somehow I think fried shrimp tastes better, but I don't know, I, microwave I, shrimp is faster. <laughs> I mean, I, I never had microwave shrimp, only fried ones, and cooked. But you know, it, 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 it might be nice. Oh, there you go. We're dead. Yeah, and there we go. Dragon's dead. Blink and you miss it. <laughs> Blink and you miss it. F's in chat for Dragon stage. Yeah, F, F in chat. 
Now sure, that's so. left is Mother Brain. Yep, now we just have to return to Torian and go from there. So I think at this point, it's just the fastest way there is just to retrace my steps. This map's actually kind of confusing too, so I might I might get lost. Although sometimes uh, if this if this if the map is like nice and linear, you can just like kind of follow the mini map and just see where you've went to see where you're going back. It's really easy to retrace your steps without looking at the map again, which saves time. So okay, where am I going? Okay, it's off to the off to the right. Okay. I remember now. Good. <laughs> yeah, so at this, at this point, we're basically backtracking, so feel free to add any additional commentary if you like, or donations, etc. We do have a, uh, another $50 donation from Jackos, who says, Come on, folks, we need more Fastest Furs content. Yes, indeed. Um, that brings us uh, that much closer to Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. We are now at uh, 1,000... Uh, $120 out of the required $1,250. We are getting very, very close indeed. So, keep those donations coming. Okay, now I just have to remember how we got back there to Criteria, so I think it's through here. I guess through the other door will work, too. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll go that way. That's fine. I'll stick with like what I'm familiar with here for now. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. I, I remember now this spot. I kind of like that palette too. It has a look of like the NES uh, Ridley's Lair. Okay, so I think next it's uh, pretty sure the next part of the path is up and like way at the top of this room on the left hand side. Just, just basically trying to remember where, where we've all been. That's the tricky part. Map randomizer will mess will, will mess with your brain. Yeah, doesn't matter how long you've been playing this game for. You could have been playing this game for years. You could have been playing just for a few, like, one playthrough. It could be your first ever randomizer you're doing, and it'll still mess with you. It just does. And it will keep messing with you. Actually, Mother Brain is, like, right there, so you know what, let's hit the... Yeah, we'll hit the save right here, just in case something happens. Marathon safety, of course. I don't expect too much to happen, but... I don't know, we have that much... That's never happened before for a reason. <laughs> we, we, we've had some new things happen on this, on this run. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can say that again. That's never happened before. That's never happened before. Never. Not even once. <laughs> okay, speaking of, we found Spore Spawn. And unfortunately, we're he's kind of blocking the way, so... We gotta go around the long way, I guess. And what a long way it is. Oh, not really. Oh, uh, not really. Okay, yeah, I see how to get there. All right. So we basically have to go around a little bit right here. I thought you had to go, go again. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you would have to go all the way to the to the right and, and loop back. Yeah, I, I yeah I think I think that's what I have to do actually. Cause, uh, yeah, because four spawns blocking that blocking that path. However, during this the escape, which I should note, the end. All the mini bosses that I didn't des destroy, they will be, they won't, it will cease to exist. So I won't have to worry about doing any mini boss fights, fights during the escape. So it will be nice and nice and fast. We didn't do what any is... mini boss fight, did we? Uh, we did do Crocomire actually. We did do Croc. him. Yeah, he he had the ice beam if I remember right. Yeah, he had ice. Oh boy, he he was the only one. We didn't find Batwoon. Yeah, didn't find Batwoon. Uh, the Torizos. I think That's I found funny. where the. I think I, I think I found where the. I found the rooms where the Torizos are, especially Bomb Torizo, because that's where the animals will end up at the end of the game that we have to save. So. Yeah. Okay, so here I'm oh, actually yeah. going to. 
So here I'm going to turn off Screw Attack, and that's for a little skip right here. We're going to actually clip through these Zevatite barriers. So now we can get through here because we killed all the bosses. And there we go. That's, an, that's a clip right through that Zevatite. And if you do that, none of the other ones spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on Screw Attack again here. There is a glitch I could go for if I had seven, seven full energy tanks, but unfortunately I don't, so this will be a pretty uh, pretty safe and pretty uh, vanilla Mother Brain fight for the most part. One thing I should note is uh, because in this randomizer, no, uh, there, was, there have been no changes to the ammo distribution, so there's a quality of life setting that you can set where supers do twice damage to Mother Brain, which I do have the setting on, so... It'll be very handy. Yeah, if we had the seven E tanks or more, we could do something we call the stand-up glitch, where normally the uh, fighting mother brain, the baby, would come over and save us, but during that moment, Samus would be incapacitated. And if we do that glitch, so we can just keep standing up, as it were, and keep shooting her with the uh, with, with charge beam blast, and that's actually still damaging her for the hyper beam phase. So it actually speeds up quite a bit. Yeah. Speaking of the hyper beam, which is what we just got hit by there, you have to get hit by that once. And what I did is I damaged myself down to three energy tanks because if you don't, sometimes Mother Brain can kill you. She tries to lower your health down with a few attacks, but sometimes it doesn't work right and it ends up getting you killed. So that's to protect against that. Oh okay, yeah, also, the baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. How am I still alive? The baby. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to get into other M. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, lo I love laughing at other M, how can you tell? <laughs> what can I tell? I don't know. I think you like laughing at, at other Yeah, M. yeah, I think so. <laughs> there's another, there's another other M quote that I have to, I have to bring up. Once, once, uh, once a certain pivotal moment happens here, it's coming shortly. Yeah, unfortunately, no matter what we can do, we cannot save the baby. Rest in peace, the baby. Can never You'll save be missed. The baby. El Bambino, but mother, Goodbye, baby. time to go. <laughs> so we, we will good. now destroy Mother Brain with her own hyper beam, which by the way, the hyper beam also has some additional functions in the escape. It also, not only being super powerful, destroys all kinds of blocks, except for speed booster blocks, and a few others. So it can destroy super muscle blocks and crumble and uh, super muscle power bomb blocks and bomb blocks and stuff. Oh yeah, speaking of, we now gotta get out. <laughs> gotta run. It can also open gates from any side or it can open uh, open like doors you haven't opened with ammo. Okay, so now we actually have to go back to Norfair of all places because that's where the animals are. We gotta save them. Now imagine if it's not the animal. Okay, I'll actually grab a few power bombs there, because that might be helpful for... Oh, Animal. wow, that, that sound. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. That is sound. Okay, I have to think of what the fastest way to get down there is. Okay. It's probably through one of the sand pits. Hey, it's faster than going all the way around, so, you know. So we'll do, oh wow, all this lag. By the way, photosensitivity warning, lots of uh, screen shaking and uh, some flashing lights here for the record, so. It is an old Super Nintendo game after all. So going through that sand pit just saved me the time of going all the way around. We gotta make our way to the animals down there. Down over in Norfair. And again, this is where I had mentioned a bit earlier that it's helpful to find the normal morph ball bombs. That's why. 
is because sometimes you come across rooms that have bomb blocks and stuff. They're in the tunnels and the hyper beam can destroy them as long as they aren't too far off screen anyways. So I'll return down to North Fair over here. Not to be pessimistic, but I don't think we have a whole lot of time. Yeah, not really actually. Okay, let's uh, get pull up the map and then see where they are. Okay, they're way up there. So I, sh I should go through the door in the ceiling here. Yeah, time is definitely of the essence. So it's a speed run, so gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go really fast. All oh, right, this was uh, okay. I think this room had. Uh, okay, good. It had the other door on the opposite side. Perfect. Okay, so we gotta go up this elevator now. <laughs> Make our way to the animals room. <laughs> Making our way downtown. Just walking fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hey, we have Metroids. Well, Metroids. Too bad. <laughs> I had a whole lot of Metroids in Super Metroid. I didn't think about yeah, it. Who, yeah, who'd have thought, right? So the animals should be right over in here. There they are. We, we've, we've donated to save them, so they are officially saved. Now it's time to save ourselves as well. <laughs> now I gotta really run. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, it only took like a minute, a minute something to do this, and the Marie is pretty close to the ship, so. Okay, I'm gonna mostly be relying on my mini map here to get back, unless there's like a branching path. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Okay, let's actually see if there's a faster way to get back. Okay, yeah, not really. Just go straight ahead. Okay, there goes nothing. Right through there. <laughs> Down through here, through this... Uh, door over here. I've been through this path, but this has been like a couple times I've been through this path, so I think it's okay. I think I have it somewhat memorized now. I'm still on my toes here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hope you all are as well. Okay, guys, so here I'm gonna actually use a power bomb, because again, let's... Yeah, it's a power bomb block, and it's far off screen if I use hyper beam. Okay, so it's back to Meridia. Again, so top left of this room. Okay, we should have enough time. Let's get destroy that block with the beam because that's fast. <laughs> okay, up the up the drain pipe again. We let's go. <laughs> under two minutes left. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. It's okay, Chad. Yep. Chad, don't panic, Chad. <laughs> Pardon I'm me while I panic. panic. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, almost there. Now to Criteria. <laughs> Still with a minute 30 left on the clock. I think we're making good time. We're actually getting really close, too. Okay. Okay, right through the wall, and with that, that's time. <laughs> GG. <Hey. laughs> Heck yeah, let's go. That's two minutes under the estimate. Wow. Wow, wow, that's that's great. <laughs> Jeez, it was definitely a rough steed starting out for sure. And another thing I want to mention too, after the planet blows up, another part of saving the animals, you get to look out for a little small pixel 
That's what you guys all donated donated for. It's great. <laughs> Look out for small print on the right. On the right section of the of the screen. Check it out. Right there. There you go. If you didn't there see you it, go. it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was all you paid for. Yeah, honestly that was a really fun seat. Again, it was pretty pretty tough at the start, but eventually it opened up really nicely. Wow, sub hour in game time too. So and with that, that is officially Super Metroid Map Randomizer. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll do some quick shout-outs right now if that's alright. By all means. Yeah, for sure. So if, of course I want to shout out Flynn for joining me on commentary today. Thank you, Flynn. I want to shout out the entire Fastest Furs crew as well for keeping keeping up the stream, putting on this whole event. The entire Super Metroid speedrunning community, as well as the ROM hacking community as, as well, because without it, this rap map randomizer wouldn't be a thing. You can see some of their names here. And I want to shout out to anyone who has shown up from my own community who has shown up in the chat to cheer me on. Thanks so much, you guys. Aside from that, there's still some, still some more marathon left, still some more runs. If you're interested in checking me out, you can find me at twitch.tv slash savagewizrobe, all lowercase, of course. Still more, still more runs remain, so enjoy the rest of the marathon. And until then, you guys, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. For sure. Bye, everybody. All right, that was Savage Wizrobe playing the Super Metroid Map Randomizer. Uh, let's get some more congratulations in chat. That was wonderful and a lot of fun to watch. Uh, we also have several more donations uh, from Spy Fox saying, I had to donate during Metroid since this series is one of my favorites. I appreciate the found, uh, the found, or fundraising rather. As 